did you see a big difference between uh, women entrepreneurs and men entrepreneurs and women farmers and men farmers? There's a big difference. When you're a women entrepreneur, uh, you still have the home front to tackle. And the bankers also always want you to tell them something about your home front, your personal life. And it is believed sometimes that, oh, what if the husband does not want to have to do this business anymore? How do I get my money? So they are always a bit um, fidgeting. They want a more assurance that you will not abandon the, the business halfway uh, because of some family pressures. So there's a big difference being a woman entrepreneur. You still have to do an extra conviction. Even when you have all the collateral or the startup capital, you still have to convince the bank that you are a strong woman and that you can handle your business. Uh, unlike when the man walks into the bank and, and he's just giving a form to fill and he meets all the requirements, he's giving the cash straight away. The woman still has more hurdles. They would rather do three, four more inspections before a woman is given the same amount that a man is asking for. So uh, there's a big difference, there's a big difference. So if women are able to overcome those hurdles, can they be effective farmers and effective entrepreneurs, you think? Yes. As soon as the woman is able to prove that she's up to the task, she's consistent, she's persistent, and they can see a lot of passion about what she's doing, they will naturally give support and even maybe give more support at that point than they will give to the man. Because the, the, the what we like, uh, how will I describe it? Uh, the natural uh, gender phenomenon now takes place, now becomes a more, they will now become more favorable towards the successful woman business than the man business. When the woman business is doing well, you seem to get some little sympathy. Let me call it sympathy. Okay. A bit of more sympathy and more support at the point you already do well. But to start could be more difficult. But once you are doing well, you you seem to get more support at that point than the man we get. That's what I have experienced. So, what do you think is the key um, key to overcoming these obstacles for women entrepreneurs? I would say is being focused and being persistent and have a dream. Be passionate about this dream, talk about it, leave it, start small, grow with the dream, and then it will be very easy for people to come align and start aligning with your dream, start asking you what can we do for you, because at that point your gender weakness now comes, become a strength. You know, it becomes a strength at the point at which you are already doing what you want to do, uh, not complaining or looking for excuses, you will not go anywhere, nobody's gonna support you. But if you started by yourself, they will come along to support you. 